Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's a tiny bit different. I'm going to be attempting to make a share factory montage, but 100% only use share factory. Without a USB, basically. I'll, I'll probably put that in the title instead. So yeah, I'm going to make a montage on share factory without using any sort of feature that I would have from a USB. So without further ado, let's just get on to the video. So as I'm recording the intro on this in a Fortnite lobby, I thought it would just be a lot easier to just get my cinematics that I'm going to be using um, for the intro and the outro perhaps um, now. So I'm just going to quickly do that. Right, so one of the annoying things about cinematics is trying to find some, like places that you've not used before. That is um, one of the annoying things. So yeah, I was thinking maybe down this way would look pretty sick. So I'm literally just going to... Maybe that was too short, I don't know. But now we've got to find somewhere else. And seeing as we're over this area, a, maybe a cinematic of this uh, Black, um, Black Panther tribute would be sick. Okay, something like that will work, I think. Yeah, that looks sick. Right, so we have our cinematics. Now it's time to go into Share Factory. Okay, so I've added the cinematics I just recorded. I've also added a couple of clips that um, I have um, and I don't think I'll be using. Um, and the song I'm going to be using is a song called Go Far by David Burns. And partly because I don't believe it's copyrighted, um, which also helps. Um, but it's actually a decent song. I've used it before if you want to check it out on my channel. Um, but yeah, so this is the song I'm going to be using. So obviously, the first thing I want to do is, uh, well, I've done this off camera, but I've got to the bit where I want the music to start. I'm also just going to add a little fade now. Um, and one thing I do recommend doing, actually, obviously, I did this in my How to Edit on Chair Factory. Always add a little fade in with um, like the black screen. It always looks nice. I did this strong around. Looks nice, especially when the music's fading in as well. It sort of gives it more purpose to fade in, so it sounds like this. That's literally just, that's all you want really. I'm also going to mute the volume of the cinematics as well because you can hear like the water from the stream, um, etc. So already we've got the intro, we've got the cinematics, they're not done yet, but you know, it's all good. Okay, so I just had a quick change of mind. I've extended the intro of the song because I want the beat drop to actually sync with the clip. So um, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to blur... Um, this, well actually I was going to blur the cinematics but on second thought I'm going to saturate them and I just add the aspect and then obviously yeah you can technically blur these um, but it's personal preference but I'm for this just going to do this because it. I think when it goes when you, when you think about um, trying to make this look as nice as possible I would probably choose this over something that's blurred um, so I'm just going to do that to all of these now so the filter is saturate, then the layout is aspect 2.40, and then all of all already we can um, start adding our text. So I'm gonna fade that in. I'm gonna have it do the wave, and I'm gonna have it fade out. Then so I've got go far, which is the name of the song, and this one I'm probably gonna add edited by me. And same again, we're gonna fade it in. We're gonna have it do the wave and then we're gonna fade out. And then we're gonna have um, probably my support create code. Um, but as you might have seen in my recent video, I've got a really good sort of thing to do. Because obviously a hashtag ad, you've got to have it in there, you know, you have to. I'm gonna make that reasonably big. I'm gonna obviously have that the all way, all way, all the way. Then the opacity is gonna be 40. Actually, maybe lower. I'd say, I'd say 30. 32. We'll go with 32. We'll go with 32. And that is also going to fade in. It's going to wave and then it's going to fade out. And then we're going to have code MVP Elliot pretty much sitting on top of the hashtag ad. And um, now all we have to do is make it fade in. Make it wave during the middle and then fade out. 
And then the last thing that I need to do is just add the fade through color transition on all of these. And um, yeah, we are chilling. This is now our intro. Uh, yeah. Uh, riding by myself, I don't need nobody. I did all this on my own, I put it on me. So yeah, obviously the text, like for example, this one just does need to be moved higher up, way higher up in my opinion. Um, we'll move it there for now. And that sort of stay sort of similar, uh, similar center. I can't even get my words out today, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so now we actually have our intro. Um, I need to think about syncing the music, which isn't gonna be easy. So I might have to cut this clip. I technically need to make it longer. Apparently, I do. Um, so it's a couple of seconds longer. Because the beat drops like here, and it's yeah, it needs to be longer. Okay, so maybe maybe 13 minutes on the dot. Let's see what we've got. Never mind, I'm an idiot. The clip needs to be shorter. Um, yeah, I wish I had brain cells. What about this? Okay, so that's pretty much a second too early. So this should be synced. Okay, boom, that is synced. One thing though, this music is far too loud. I usually have my music honestly on like 40 or 50%. Um, just because, I don't know, I don't like music when it's ridiculously loud for some reason. So yeah, we have the first clip synced, um, I'm going to see what we can do already, because I want to take this one clip at a time, seeing as I'm actually recording, whereas when I'm editing, I do the special effects after. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a uh, screen flow. Um, add transition, burn fade. Edit transition, transition settings, color. I'm just gonna go over. I'm just gonna. I'll go with the blue. I'll go with the MVP Elliot Classic blue. Um, I think I might have done that a little bit too early, but let's have a look. It's a tiny bit early, but it is what it is. It's um, it's not bad. It's not bad. All right. So let's um. We need to now think about syncing in the next clip and then syncing the actual kill on beat. So that's gonna be the next thing that we need to do. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sync it at the end of the, the lines in the song because it's just it's so much easier. Um, so I'll delete that bit I don't need and then obviously as you can see, next clip fades in nicely at the end of this line. So I'd say that's a, a second too short, so we'll extend that by a second. Um, I think, mm, I don't know actually, we'll have a look. Yeah, that's probably more like what you want more. Um, yes, definitely a lot better. So what I'm gonna do is actually gonna this is like perfectly um, split. So I'm gonna do another burn fade. You can't get enough of burn fades. You just can't. It's so much nicer, and it's just so simple to do. So this is when I'll be fading the next clip in, which I'll have a look if I have any now. Okay, so just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to reuse the um, opening clip I used in my recent montage, which is just this one. I found a way to believe my whole life for more. Which, convenient enough, is nearly clipped in itself. I think it's maybe a second too late. So we'll make it like a second shorter, maybe. And um, this might honestly be synced already. Okay, so it's a little bit too early now. Let's try this. It's literally got to be somewhere in the middle here. Let's have a this. It's like a frame shorter. When the light turns the dark, found a way to believe my heart. There we go. That is, yeah, that is where you want it to be. Way to believe. It's 
what I'm gonna do is not only add a hmm, actually I've got to do this bit first so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm actually gonna blur this and I'm gonna make it um, a little bit shorter this is what I did literally for the opening clip um, it's the blur technique literally just needs to be as minimal as possible to be honest and then I'm also gonna add a burn fade oh never mind hang on let's uh, make this a little bit longer then add the burn fade Oh, red kind of looks fire though, Norman. Like, not gonna lie. I might honestly stick with the red. That kind of looks fire. I'm not even joking. Alright, and then we'll trim this back to zero. And, uh, yeah. And then this is when we're gonna add next clips. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap up this video here. And then I'm actually gonna do a part two um, soon as this has actually been quite fun so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna mute the mic and I'm gonna play you what I've got so far in the space of if I'm being honest around 20 minutes of editing um, this is what we've got Anyways guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, then make sure to slap a like. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe as well as turning post notifications on. And if you want to support the channel any further, feel free to go and use support or create a code MVPLE in the Fortnite item shop. It does massively help me out and it helps the channel out as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.